Lake Ulaga is like a little hidden gem in northeast Oklahoma yeah, as far as You know, other camping vloggers are bringing you, what, fantastic sights from Glacier National Park, Yellowstone, Moab, but we strive to be different. We're bringing you the Ed Galloway Totem Pole Park in Foyle, Oklahoma. The classic Route 66 destination. Ed Galloway was a folk artist. It says it was he was Oklahoma's premier folk artist. And he retired on this property and started building these structures between what did I say, 1937 and 19. 51 or 61. Apparently was really into Native American art. He also made fiddles. He said that in the museum, which is that, <laughs> that houses his fiddle collection. But we're here in the evening, so I'm sure that's not open. So they have this little park that the Rogers Historical is put together. There's a nature trail, picnic area. You just you just can't see these sites just anywhere, people. We'll bring it to you. Graham thoughts. It's typical Americana. <laughs> typical Americana, yep. Said it was it's just a few miles off the mother road, so it was a Route 66 destination. Sandstone Lioness. 1915? That's over 100 years old. 1915? Yeah. Fiddle House. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> I'm dying to know it's in there. Shop. What kind of stuff do they sell here? Inquiring minds want to know. I don't know if you can fully appreciate this unless you're here in person. I think so. They said it's open at the top. I think it's... Basically it's hollow. Yeah. It's hollow. It's hollow. Yeah. No, I dig it. It's something else, isn't it? Yeah. It's... I kind of want to stop tomorrow and get a t-shirt. <laughs> probably not coming out this way because you came in here the wrong way. Didn't you? Oh, I don't know. 1948. It's just, it's kind of incredible. I kind of really love it. A 
as you can tell, it's already hot out here. I've been up, I've been walking, we've had breakfast. There's our setup for the weekend. Um, I think the high today is supposed to get 91 with some thunderstorms later as a cool front moves in, which will probably bring it down to like 88. We're about to hit the lake on the paddle boards and then, I don't know, we'll see what the day holds. We are at Blue Creek Park. I think there are eight Corps of Engineer parks around this lake. Ulaga Lake in northeastern Oklahoma close to Claremore. And Ulaga Lake is famous for being the home of Will Rogers. His actual birthplace is in the lake. <laughs> This reservoir was built, well, it started in the 50s, finished in the 60s or 70s. Um, they had to break for the Korean War and such. Lake Uliga has several primitive sites, no hookups. And I think they're actually much prettier than the hookup side. <sighs> they were much more private this weekend. And I mean, we're here on Labor Day weekend and we didn't have any neighbors, so that was pretty cool. Blue Creek Park has a sheltered picnic area, a playground for the kids, a volleyball net, clean shower house, horseshoe pits, cornhole, and even a basketball court. There's a boat dock available, vault toilets at the other end of the park, and group camping available where you can even camp with your horse. You can enjoy the communal fire pit or take yourself out on the Will Rogers Centennial Trail that connects to this end of the park. While we were there, there was very little boat traffic, so we enjoyed a peaceful weekend with beautiful views. We came to the Will Rogers birthplace, which is on a hill overlooking Uligo Lake. The actual birthplace was in the lake, but they've moved the house <laughs> up on a hill to preserve it when they built the lake. So there's a self-gated tour you can take. So we're gonna go check it out. So as you can probably hear, they have a recording going that tells you about the site and there's some kind of alarm going off, so I don't know. Where did we find this? What? Grocery Yeah. Robert died from typhoid at age 17. And then... Back to the parlor. At one point, hay was stored in the barren room. When Clem died in 1911, Will Rogers was well on the way to becoming famous. He bought out his sister's share of the ranch, and in 1924, he could stay here, both when my father was alive and after his death in 1935. Well, we found out where the noise was coming from. So there's all the hookups for the RVs. I don't know why you'd want to come stay here overnight, but maybe, maybe the price is right.
I knew who Will Rogers was, and I had an inkling of why he was famous, although he was way before my time. Graham is not from the States, so he had no idea who Will Rogers was, and I was not doing an adequate job of explaining um, who he was in the American canon, I guess. But he left this museum knowing full well this guy's life story and what he was famous for. Yeah. It was a really, it was really well very put together museum. Very entertaining. The Will Rogers Museum in Claremore. I highly recommend it. I think it's seven dollars to get in unless you're like military or over 62 or something you can get a discount but it's worth the seven dollars to get in and it's a good time it took what an hour hour and a half to get through yeah. maybe two you could stretch it to two probably if you stopped we didn't stop and watch any of the videos they have different theater rooms and things i watched the roping yeah, we watched the roping video, and I'm sorry about the shaky of this video. I'm just doing it on my phone, but... All right, so we have to tell you about one of the things we saw on this trip. We had driven up to Nawada to have lunch, and we were coming back, and on the side of the road, we came upon this, like, silver capsule-looking thing. And it was, it was spray painted silver and it had like NASA and some odd numbers and stuff on the side of it. And it looked like a little space capsule like that would come out of a rocket ship, right? But it was just on the side of the road. There were no signs, no nothing. And we both drove by and we're like, is that really, like, could that be? Like, what the heck? It looked authentic just driving by, it like right? like space junk. Yeah, it looked like space junk. It had fallen out of the sky and they just left it there, right? So we get back to our campsite and I Google it. Yeah. It was actually the mixer off an old cement truck that had fallen off, cement still in it, and nobody ever moved it. So the owner of this land, I guess, took it upon himself to spray paint it silver and make it look like a NASA space capsule. And so... It's still, it's still got the original cement. Yeah, still in it. it still has a cement in it and it just sits by the roadside with no explanation since 1960 whatever how many people have stopped to take photographs of that right right <laughs> yes it was so weird and random i don't know and he it said in the little article i was reading that it actually has the phone number for nasa on it now i don't know who or how can you just look up the phone number from nasa i don't even know i guess you can but it was so strange like ulaga it's like a little hidden gem in northeast Oklahoma yeah, as, far as, as far as I'm concerned and um, I think we might be back we might try out one of the other little parks around the area although I liked the park we were in just fine Blue Creek yeah. Park was nice the end we were on was fairly quiet there were some RVers that partied hard all weekend but yeah, yeah, and play cornhole. Everywhere we go, people are playing cornhole, and if that's your thing, I apologize, but it is loud as all get out. Especially at, at 12 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock at night, play, having a cornhole tournament is not cool, people. Quiet hours. Observe them. Anyway, um, we've had a pretty good time. We fished a little bit this morning before we left camp, and um, fished a little bit last night. We caught just a little, some little fish nothing to write home about but it's still fun you know not far from here is uh up by Bartlesville is Willow Rock we chose not to go to that this time just because we weren't really feeling it but if we come back to the area that's probably going to be on our list of things to do um there's also another museum in Claremore that has like 20,000 guns and other odd things in it it's like a personal collection of some oil man so there's that. We could always do that next time. <laughs> Gotta pace ourselves. <sighs> anyway, we fully enjoyed our weekend in Northeast Oklahoma at Lake Uliga. Would recommend. So until next time, get out there. You know what? I don't know how these people that make camping vlogs do this and look decent. I always seem to look like crap in these videos, but it is what it is. I'm camping. It's hot. 
whatever. But I have to share something with you. These, these, they're micro mesh dish scrubs. I think I found them like a little hang tag in the grocery section of Walmart. So I don't even know if I could find them again. Maybe. But they're the coolest thing. Look, they're just like this plastic mesh. So they're kind of scrubby, but they also work as a washcloth for doing dishes and stuff. But then you can rinse it out and get it really, really clean because it's sort of just plastic. I don't know. And then um, it's going to dry real fast, as you can imagine. And I just use them at breakfast and I absolutely love them. So if you find these somewhere, I would recommend buying them, especially for camping. There's a three pack, I think they were $2 and some change for them. And man, I just loved it this morning. We did a really good job scrubbing a pan that I cooked eggs and bacon in. So yeah, highly recommend these.